e io posso chi mia esposa dice e io è molto bonita now translate i hear my wife say that i'm extremely good looking I'm a model for GQ. Nope, we're at Bruno's English class today. There's like a competition going on, so you're gonna get a pie in the face if you do something wrong. And it should be fun, but we see we speak fluent English, so we shouldn't get pie in the face. Unless he makes us do it in Portuguese. Well, then I'm screwed. O verbo conhecer numa frase. To know, to do. Muito conhecer faz a ver. One thing that I've really been enjoying about being in Brazil is the quality time that Josh and I have had together. Muito prazer conhecer. Tem mais. So even though our evenings are spent studying and they're not just chill, it's been nice to be able to do that together. Mm -hmm. It's super neat that we're having the opportunity to have consistent uh, church time. Mm -hmm. When I was working shift work, that's something that mm -hmm. When we, I was living at the airport, literally living there. Yeah, that's something that we didn't really get that much of as a couple. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just been super refreshing to just be in consistent community and going to church and having that yep. time with God and, and I just feel like it's been rejuvenating for me in some ways and challenging for me in some ways. You mean no, you mean not <laughs> Tell us where we are. Come okay, on. We're, we're here at a community outreach. I can't say any of this in Portuguese, so I'm just gonna talk in English. Yeah. He please. can translate. No. Come on. Bye. Okay, okay, okay. I will say in English, you will say in Portuguese. Okay. Okay, we are here. Mas aqui. For the communities? <laughs> oh man. What are we doing? A community outreach. With what? With the church, our church. So what Josh is trying to say is we're here today within your church doing community outreach, practicing our Portuguese, and we're loving the people in the city. So we're just gonna have a walk and show around here the neighborhood for you guys. Bruno, explain again for me what the balloons are. The balloons there are like a strategy to to get close to people, to reach the people with, with Bible verses in it. So we can talk with them. They're going to notice the, the red balloons in their gate. So we can talk with them and evangelize. <laughs> Jesus. 
próximo possa perceber a tua mão carregando ele, Senhor, em nome de Jesus. Que ele possa ver, Pai, que o Senhor nunca o abandonou. Senhor. E que o Senhor o deseja e deseja a família dele mais do que, que tudo, Senhor. Em nome de Jesus, Pai, abençoa a família, abençoa a saúde dele, Senhor. So, we had our monthly update from Pastor Dwight in terms of our funding for this crazy thing called missionary work. And we both had a bit of, maybe a little bit of a panic attack because we thought we were a little bit under budget. But God's coming through and the funds are coming in. We're still a little bit short, but we're believing God for miracles. I'm still believing for miracles for my aviation license because we need funding for that. But God knows, and so he just is reminding me as the finances stress me out the most, is that God's still in control, in that his children don't have to beg for bread, but that he will provide all that we need and all that he has called us to do. So as we are just trusting that the rest of the funds will come in, we know that God is just growing our faith. And a couple months ago, we were sitting with some very wise people uh, in Pastor Maddie's house, and they just had some very interesting words of wisdom and the gentleman quoted this saying sometimes God is annoyingly late to our standards with what he has for us and that just kind of made me laugh because if I was the Lord I would have had everything done already but my timing is in his timing and God is infinitely smarter than I am and I know that and I'm learning that so He'll bring it in and we're just trusting that it'll all come to pass.